Princess Beatrice's husband Edardo Mopelli Mozzi reveals unbelievably chic children's playroom. Princess Beatrice's husband Edardo Mopelli Mozzi may have married into royalty, but the father of two has a relatively normal job outside of his royal life. Edardo is the founder and chief executive of Banda Property, a property development and interior design company specializing in luxury homes. Sharing his latest project via his Instagram page, Prince Andrew's son-in-law reposted a render from inside a child's playroom, and it's got us wondering what Edo and Beatrice's daughter Sienna's bedroom is like. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The calming space featured chic scalloped details, arched wardrobes and soft, sheer curtains invoking a soothing atmosphere. A charming elephant rocking horse and lifelike baby giraffe stuffed toy decorated the space, as well as a soft play sofa constructed from movable building blocks. Floating colorful balloons as pendants and sconces, with relaxing wallpaper reminiscent of the sky, and a giraffe that evokes cherished memories for the homeowners, Edo penned in the caption of the post, which sparked a flurry of responses from fans in the comments. This is definitely the most charming kids' room I've ever seen, penned one fan, as another wrote, I've never seen anything so well done on a theme. Bravo? A third fan wrote, most enchanting kids' room I've ever seen. Elegant yet sparks the imagination. Edardo, who shares daughter Sienna, three, with Princess Beatrice, also has a son, Wolfie, eight, whom he welcomed with his ex fiance Dara Huang. Following the suit of their royal family members, both Edardo and Beatrice are notoriously private about their personal lives, and have never shared a photograph from inside their private farmhouse in the Cotswolds. The duo bought the property in 2021 for an estimated £3.5 million, which is said to be a sprawling home nestled in the Oxfordshire countryside ideal for raising their young, blended family. The farmhouse itself boasts six bedrooms and multiple reception rooms, but the couple also underwent renovations to create a guest house converted from a separate outhouse. This is the ideal place to provide accommodation for visiting relatives or friends. Away from the main house, the pair are also fortunate enough to have an outdoor swimming pool perfect for Sienna, and Wolfie to play in when the warm weather allows and tennis courts. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie join forces at heartwarming garden party. The York sisters support a number of charities alongside their full-time jobs. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie brought joy as they attended a special garden party at Haven House Children's Hospice on Tuesday afternoon. The royal sisters took the time to speak with children, their families and staff at the hospice in Woodford Green, Essex, with the pair presented with beautiful bouquets of flowers by sisters Annabelle and Eva Thomas upon arrival. In a video posted by Eugenie on Instagram, she shared, Today I was so lucky to visit Haven House Hospice with my sister. Haven House Children's Hospice in Woodford Green, London, fund specialist care to children who have life-limiting or life-threatening conditions. It was so incredible to see the caring work they do and meet some of the children and families whose lives are changed by the care and support they receive here. In the montage, Beatrice, wearing a floral print navy airdem dress, and Eugenie, sporting a burgundy pattern frock, can be seen engaging with children and planting a tree. Beatrice, 36, praised the hospice in a heartwarming address, saying, this hospice is a beacon of love and support for so many families. The compassion and care provided here is truly inspiring, and it is a privilege to be part of this special day. Eugenie, 34, added, seeing the strength and resilience of the children and their families today has been deeply moving. This hospice not only provides vital care but also creates a space where joy and laughter can flourish, even in the most challenging times. During their joint outing, the princesses also planted a commemorative tree in the hospice's garden, which is also home to an arboretum of more than 100 trees planted by notable public figures, including Margaret Thatcher and Sir Winston Churchill. 
Beatrice and Eugenie's tree will stand alongside a hazel tree that was gifted to the hospice from their late grandmother Queen Elizabeth II to mark her platinum jubilee in 2022. Haven House Chief Executive Ralph Colbeck said of the Royal Sisters visit, We are incredibly honoured to welcome Princess Beatrice, and Princess Eugenie to our hospice. Their commitment to supporting children's causes is truly inspiring, and their visit today has brought so much joy. The tree they planted will be a lasting symbol of hope and resilience for everyone who comes to our gardens. The garden party was a perfect way to say thank you to our supporters, it was a wonderful event and heartening to see so many of our children and families celebrating with us. The charity provides, day care, overnight stays, end-of-life care and bereavement support, as well as life-enriching activities such as sensory play, music therapy, yoga and physiotherapy, helping families create happy memories. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are causing a huge worry to senior members of the royal family as they grow closer to Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been estranged from the firm ever since their sensational exit and move to America in 2020. Just last month, Harry's tumultuous relationship with the royals was said to be apparent during a memorial service for his late uncle, Lord Robert Fellows in Norfolk, after he and older brother Prince William reportedly exchanged no words. Royal author Tom Quinn has already spoken about how Harry and Meghan's alliance with the York sisters could raise concerns within the Prince and Princess of Wales's household by telling the mirror, for William and Kate an alliance between Harry and Meghan and Beatrice and Eugenie is a huge worry. They sense that Beatrice and Eugenie feel that, as virtual outcasts themselves, they have far more in common with Harry and Meghan than with any other part of the family. The situation is made worse by the fact that the senior royal's main asset, Kate herself is effectively out of action while she continues her treatment for cancer. However, this summer saw Beatrice and Eugenie both supporting the royals at public events, like the Buckingham Palace Garden Party and Royal Ascot, with sources claiming that they've firmly pledged their allegiance to the royal family, and that they haven't communicated with the Sussexes for quite a while. The royal family were cautioned by a tax expert over Prince Harry's US citizenship, as it could be a dagger in the heart for the firm's finances. Prince Harry has been living in America since 2020, after he and wife Meghan Markle stepped down as senior working royals, however, it is not known what visa the royal is on. However, he is entitled to apply for a green card through his marriage to Meghan, which would make him a permanent resident in the US for tax purposes, with his worldwide income being taxed in the US, rather than the UK. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.